So in late November, we're getting a new champion, Destiny the Sky Ranger. She got a, a big old gun. There's no doubt that this is our Metal Warden port from BLC, but who's that? A cute title card! Metal Warden is a combo-based anti-melee ranged tank. Let's look at her abilities. Her left click shoots metal that does damage. Wow. Her right click charge beam allows you to charge your beam up so it does more damage. This is actually the best way to kill Ridley because... Oh. Oh wait. This is the wrong game. Her actual right click is charged bolt. Which is a channelable charge kind of like Esmo's right click. This one applies a spell block to whoever it hits. The damage and spell block time both increase with channel time. Her space bar magnetic orb lets her go into morph ball, removing any movement appearing effects and increasing her move speed. She also knocks back any foes she hits while molten, 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 molten. Her Q molten burst shoots an AoE debuff that does slight damage and applies a weaken. The debuff also causes Metal Warden's M1s to apply knockback and deal bonus damage. This ability has an EX version where Samus Waifu jumps high in the sky and crashes down doing damage and knocking back and slowing enemies. Metal Warden's E is Energy Leash and this is what I remember most vividly about her. She plonks down a little spire that has an AoE. Anyone that gets inside the AoE is tethered to the spire. While tethered, all projectile shot are slowed and if you decide to walk out of the tether, you get incapped. This ability has an EX that channels a healing beam that rapidly heals one target. Her R ability, which remember doesn't cost energy in this game, Iron Claw encases herself or an ally in iron, removing all move speed debuffs and drastically reduces damage taken. If an enemy hits the Iron Claw, the hit character will gain energy and shoot a low damage projectile at the attacker. Finally, Metal Warden's ultimate is Overcharge. She shoots out a ball that does damage, which turns into a vortexing black hole that does damage over time, and then it explodes for more damage. So basically, it's Esmo's ult that does damage over three different instances. Metal Warden was great at fighting melee opponents due to being ranged. Her Q plus M1 and E plus space could disorient and deter most melee attackers. She wasn't as efficient as fighting ranged though. Ranged enough to kite melee, but not ranged enough to fight ranged. It'll be interesting to see what they keep and what they'll change with Metal Warden. I think the right click and ultimate are really similar to Esmo, but heck, Esmo is supposed to be Stormcaller and they're literally nothing alike. So really anything could happen. As long as she doesn't have a directional shield that resets her right click or something, that'd be lame.